Quick disclaimer, the following is an extremely dangerous stunt that should not be performed by anyone under any circumstances. Furthermore, Twani Gaming does not support alcohol abuse at all, especially amongst under 18s and amateur drinkers. What you are seeing is a young gentleman from rural South Africa gulping down a full 750ml bottle of Jagermeister as part of a drinking competition by the tavern owner to win 200 rand which is approximately 12 dollars or 10 British pounds. He finished the bottle, now he is dead. What a legend. I need these. It's never been over. How's it, my ninjas? It's your boy, Twiny Gamer. Pimp smacking you with the second video for my Twiny Gamer React playlist, where I react to gaming content, movies, music, books, or anything related to contemporary pop culture. This reaction video is about a kid from a village in Limpopo province, South Africa, who died from alcohol poisoning earlier this month after necking a full bottle of Jagermeister in under two minutes. Aish, ninjas, that is a very tragic way to die. My condolences go out to his family. However, this is an honest reaction video, so I cannot guarantee if I will be sympathetic to his actions. So if you're a family member or close friend, not to this guy, it would be advisable to skip this video. So this went viral on Twitter. It received a sum of hundreds of thousands of views. I've seen comments in languages I don't even understand. It even made world headlines which is why I will be reading an article from the New York Post about the incident published on July 19th, 2022. The article reads as follows. A South African man died Tuesday after he allegedly drank an entire bottle of Jagermeister in two minutes as part of a drinking challenge. Police said the man whose identity has not been released had been competing against other customers at a liquor store in the Mashamba village to down the bottle of liquor to win about $12. One of them immediately collapsed thereafter and was taken to the local clinic where he was certified dead. Waterval police spokesperson Brigadier Motlalifa Mojapelo told reporters, footage of the man guzzling the bottle in the daily drinking competition was posted to Twitter where it had racked up nearly 9,000 views as of Wednesday morning. In the clip, he was crowded around by other patrons encouraging him to finish the alcohol. Worst part of it all is that this isn't funny at all. It was a game that turned out all wrong from all directions, commented one Twitter user. End of article. So ninjas, I really don't know what to say about this gentleman. I mean, alcohol drinking competitions can be fun. You know, games like be a pong, spin the bottle or whatever. But a line has to be drawn at some point, especially Especially when lives are at risk. Jagermeister isn't like beer where if you finish the whole bottle, worst that could happen is you puke everywhere and piss every two minutes. Trust me guys, I've been there. <laughs> However, Jagermeister is a spirit which tastes like cough medicine in my opinion, which is why I never really liked it. I am a tequila kind of guy. I love my Mexican liquor. Aslo. Ay, quick, 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 quick. Fondo, fondo, fondo. Fondo, fondo. Ay, cabrón. <laughs> No disrespect to my German subscribers, but this guy on Twitter concurs with my taste. His tweet says Jagger was initially invented as a flu syrup. I mean, I could believe that. I mean, that shit tastes like lean to me. Every time I, I taste Jaggermeister, I feel like I'm in a trap video or a drill music video or something. Lean originated as a street drug made from cough syrup and Sprite, popularized by the rap group 36 Mafia. Another thing, the gentleman was competing for 200 rand. I did a quick Google search and it turns out the cheapest bottle of Jagermeister in South Africa starts at 290 rand if you buy it at Game Liquor. So he couldn't even buy a new bottle even if he lived to spend the money. Makes fuck all sense. I don't know, maybe he wanted to buy cheap beer with his prize money or maybe some young savannah ciders maybe but let's see what people have to say on twitter alexa says 
a hero. He sacrificed for all of us. <laughs> well, at least to some people, his overdose meant something positive. Thomas J says, and the Darwin Award goes to, while Fairy says, Darwin at work. RDH10 says, Darwin has entered the chat. Uh oh, yo. You know it's lit when Darwinists jump into a popular hashtag. David Rosenfeld has a more heartfelt comment. He says, people can be so ruthless tragedy. Young people make poor choices sometimes, like I did, and I'm lucky to be here, 20 years sober. Firstly, Mr. Rosenfeld, congrats on your sobriety, but I think the keyword in your tweet is choices. The kid made a foolish decision that got him bodied. Also, I smoked weed for 15 years. I got high almost every day until I quit on January 1st, 2022. It's been nearly eight months now, so it's all about choices in the end and seeking help when you truly want to quit any addiction. Stop it. Get some help. This individual tweets, idiots cheering him on are Darwin Award recipients. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Are these Darwinist bots or real people? Uzi Blizzy says, deserved. As brutal as that sounds, doesn't he have a point, guys? Daniel Gula tweeted, German liquor was clearly too strong for the black guy. You know, somewhere I see a black guy reading this tweet and saying, I'll prove you wrong, small boy. Like for me, you know, the land of Africa, the land of Africa. Like for me, you know, you This person says, man standing beside him is the murderer. Maybe calling him the murderer is extreme, but he is definitely an accomplice to his downfall. Vivian Padayachi, a Man United fan said, good, hope his next of kin got the 200 rand. <laughs> no wonder why they call you guys red devils. Muffin Man says, this is literally on 1000 ways to die, guess he didn't watch it. Was Death by Jaggermeister really on a 1000 ways to die episode? Please ninjas let me know in the comments or share the link to the episode if it exists. Njilandi says legendary status. <laughs> oh guys, so you see at least some alcoholics respect a stunt. Meanwhile, Dominic Patrick shared a meme saying Russians be like amateurs. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah I'm sure Putin is laughing his ass off in Stalingrad, you know, saying Silly African boy choking on German cough syrup. Now imagine what vodka would do. Lee says, natural selection in action. You know what's amusing about Darwinists is that they think they're so smart while believing they are part monkey. Go figure. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Man in Houston says, play stupid games, win stupid prizes. Hee-haw! Spoken like a true cowboy. So guys, I was curious and did a quick Google search on the top 10 alcohol drinking nations on earth. To my surprise, South Africa didn't even feature. In fact, Uganda is the top drinking country in Africa. So I asked my Ugandan chomis, they said definitely, cause like in rural Uganda, they have their own version of moonshine called Malwa. And it slaps hard and that shit claps from what I'm told. So South Africa isn't even in the top 30 drinking countries if my research is correct. It's very hard to believe people out there drink more than us. But a Ugandan friend told me it's cause South Africans act wild when we get sloshed. <laughs> Boys. 
<laughs> what the fuck, bro? So it makes it seem like we drink too much when in reality we are just irresponsible with alcohol. I guess this video of the Jagermeister drinking competition gone wrong is evidence of that. I mean, who can dispute that? Anyways, that's the end of my reaction. That's my two cents to the whole incident. Do you guys think the gentleman who overdosed from Jagermeister and died is a legend who deserves a plaque in the Alcohol Hall of Fame? Or was the theory of evolution just taking its natural course? Please let me know in the comments. Like and subscribe if you dig my style. Until next video, it's never game over.